In this video, I will show you how you can create your own custom patient tracking system without any code. You can track your patient's medical records, insurance details, and also monitor the progress of your patients in one system informally. With this app, nurses and doctors can securely track and manage patient's details on any device in an online medical chart and patient's tracker. With this app, no more messy paperwork is required anymore. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to follow for more. Okay, so first things first, we're going to open our dashboard and head over to templates. And as you can see, we have form templates and app templates. So let's go to the app template and we are going to go under health and wellness, where we are going to use the patient management app and edit it. Here you have a welcoming message. You also have your menu with all the different pages. So you have new patient form, for example. We also have an emergency contact form. All the forms are customizable and I will show you how to do that. There's also the patient information and the emergency contact information with all its data. So all of these are the form views of your patient infos. So here we have a progress report with a table view and you can change the view of your pages and I will show you how to do that. There's also a doctor signature which I will show you how to do. Here we have the add progress report. Again it's customizable and here is the doctor signature that will show you in a minute how to do it. And the medical details which holds all sorts of data from medication and dosages to dates and the healthcare crew with their names, their phone numbers, their emails, their role. And you can add more to it if you want. So now let's try to submit an emergency contact information on our form. We're going to use Bart Simpson as an example and Homer Simpson as his father. With a contact number, submit. Submitted successfully, perfect. And now we are going to go on our emergency contact information table. And here you can see the contact that we just submitted. With the Homer Simpson, the father, the contact number, and as well as the date as of today. Now let's go to new patient form. As you can see, there are already some fields added to it, but I will show you now how to add new fields and to customize it. So let's go to templates. health and wellness and patient information is the form that was used in this app so let's try and edit this one here are all the fields so we're going to view it on the eye icon here's the form now to edit it let's say that we want to add a field add a field and let's say we want to use a drop down field so let's put the title is this your first visit at this clinic You can add a description if you want to. You can make this field required field. As you can see, it adds a little star next to it, or you can also remove it. And you can also make this field admin only, which means that only you can see this field and not the patients. So let's save it first and then reload the page. And as you can see, the field is not showing on the form. So now if we remove it, we'll save it again and I will show you how now you can see it on the form. And here it is. Perfect. So let's go back to our editing. For the options, I'm going to use yes or no. Add. And now you can see the yes or no have been added. So let's save. Let's say we want to add a other field. And this time it's going to be a calendar. So let's use date one. And with the title, we're going to use when do you wish to visit the clinic? And there's a very cool feature with this I will show you. Let's make it not required. And here you can use the format that you want to. So today we're going to use this one. You can select a range, so fixed or dynamic. And this time we're going to use dynamic. And this one is very cool because if here, for example, we use one week from the submit date to three months from now. And let's save it. I will show you what it looks like. Let's go back to our form, load the page, 
and here we have the when do you wish to visit the clinic with the dates from today to three months from now so yeah uh, now we're going to go on our logic and from here we're going to go on advanced logic you have all of these fields that you can add a logic to I will show you is this your first time visiting this clinic field so we're going to click on add if and here we have it so if this is your first time visiting this clinic and the patient clicks yes on the patient's form you can now select if either to show to hide after submit etc but today we're going to use show and so if they click on the option yes this is the first time they visited this clinic then they will have to enter their full name, let's say, their date of birth, their gender, their contact number, and you can add as many fields as you want. But I will show you what it looks like and how you can also remove some of the fields and why you would remove them, especially if right now it doesn't make much sense. Let's save it. And now back to our form, I chose yes. So now you can see all of those fields, but let's now remove some. I'll remove full name, let's save reload the page okay so yeah, as you can see here they will have to first enter their full name date of birth marital status weight etc but if you want them to be even shorter you can remove more fields if they enter only their full name and they click on yes this is the first time they visit then they will have to enter all of the data and then submit but if that was not their first time with their full name only and the date of birth they will not need to enter all of the data because it is already existing in your patient's database. Perfect, so we're going to save it and go back to our dashboard. We're going to go back to our app, so app template, health and wellness, patient management app, edit and edit app. So here we have the new patient form, the emergency contact form, patient information. I will show you now different views of your patient's info by going on settings. So this one was the board view and now we're going to use chart view, all fields of form, save. And here you have a chart view of your patient's information now. With the gender, marital status, Taking any medications currently, perfect. And we're going to try another view. So let's try the board one with a view of Kanban and the columns grouped by, so here you can choose. Um, for now, let's try gender, title of card we have, let's put full name, image of card. That means you can put an image of your patient to your cards if you wish to. Fields to display on card. So here you can add as many fields to display on your card as you want. We're going to use these ones and we're going to make it editable. Save. And here are all your patients. Okay, and now let's try a table form. And here is a table view of all your patients and their data. If you go back to your dashboard and to patient management, so like the folder that you just created, you have all of your data here. And so if you click once on it, it will open the app. If you click twice on it, you will have, you can choose a view form, so you can view your form, but you can also edit your form by clicking twice. So here you can edit your form. So let's go back to our app. And if you go to add progress report, I'm going to show you how you can create your doctor's signature. You're just going to drag your cursor and create your signature. Add your patient's name. Add. And now we're going to see where it is. So if we go to progress reports, we're going to see our Bart Simpson that we just added today, the doctor's signature. So here we can see it with today's date. And it's really that easy. And now if we click on, on our Bart Simpson, you can see all of the data of this patient. You can edit the patient's information as well. And before finishing, don't forget to click on done. So all your work has been saved. 
So yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see from us. Have a nice day.